What's up? Welcome. Sorry for the poor lighting quality. I'm in a different room today. But um, I'm excited to announce that Songbringer is getting released September 1st. Yeah! You heard it. That's right. Climb the mountain. We're at the top now. And there's even going to be a release party. So I thought I'd celebrate today on today's stream and play some other people's games. So I got a few loaded here on my Steam. And I can also open up an emulator and play some old SNES games or something like that. So I'm just going to chill and stream and um, chat with some people for a minute. Celebrate the fact that Songbringer is finally getting released. So that's September 1st um, for Steam and, and GOG. And then September 5th, or no, uh, September 1st also is Xbox One. And then September 5th is PlayStation 4. So it's all coming out there around the 1st of September. Um, yeah, so what should I play first? What should I play first? Maybe this. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I forgot to update the stream title. This, this different rooms got me all wonky. Oh, not the chat. Oh, well, look at that. It's day 600, or video number 600. That's crazy. Uh, okay that's done so I'm gonna go ahead and try out a few games I got some things downloaded on my steam that I got in the recent steam summer sale um, I got outland um, I've had cave story I haven't I didn't get it to work last time I wonder if that works now I also redownloaded axiom verge I'd love to play that again um, I got a few others too I could play all oh, the kingdom new lands let's get that too I had that. Um, and then what else? Oh yeah, Guacamole. I was really looking forward. I was actually gonna like that was the game I wanted to play on today's streams, Guacamole. But apparently it's only Windows, because I bought it and it's not here in my Mac. Um, just doesn't show up. So I think that means it's just not for Mac. So, where's um? Ah, oh, here we go. Let's try out Outland. And I really don't know about some of these games if they will be able to, I'll be able to play them and stream them. So Outland has a lot of crazy cool graphics and stuff like that. It might be a kind of game I can't play on the stream. But I think Kingdom I would be able to play. At least the Kingdom Classic was like a pretty not processor graphics intensive. And then Cave Store I could probably play. And Axiom Verge I can also probably play. Songbringer, of course. Um, Space Jammers, maybe. Couldn't remember if I could get that. All working on Mac. Um, let's try out Outland. I, I apologize if anybody's chatting right now. And I'm not getting your messages, but... The chat seems empty to me right now, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Let's try out Outlin. Yeah. I guess this one I can't play. Or at least if it, if the video is gonna be all hitchy like that, I can't play it. But, uh, let's try and turn down some options, maybe. Hmm. 
might help. Single player, I guess. Ah, I wonder if my chat's working today. It's not showing anything over here. If anybody's chatting, I'm sorry. I'm not getting your messages. Um, We got story mode or arcade? I don't know. I've never played this game. I have no idea. Let's try story mode. If you listen, I will tell I'm you listening. of a man lost in his world. Haunted by dreams of legend. Medicine could not help him. Visions drove him on. A shaman, he sought. A teacher and a mystic. The Pal Kaaba, who could make sense of these visions. Who would heal him. He found the seer, collapsed at his fireside, and listened as he was told the ancient truth. Stories of a great wheel endlessly turning. Endlessly turning. Of two sisters who helped make the world. And then sought to shatter it. Imprisoned by a hero, a soul waiting through the ages, eager to be reborn. His time has come again, but so has theirs, and the earth trembles in fear. All right. Hopefully we can play now. Yes. Oh, dancing. Whoa, this guy's got hops. some crazy graffiti here. Just tell me what to do. Space A. Oh, you mean jump? Jump over the spikes, man. Don't fall in the spiky pit. Oh. Sweet. I already got a new ability. Cool, you can hang on ledges. Oh, you can just hang there. That's cool. Creation. Like, how should I beware? Oh, that kind of beware? Look, a golden mask thing! You've unlocked concept art?
Well, I apologize if anybody's chatting. I keep saying that because there's nobody. There's no chat messages over here. Usually, it's, that's weird. I don't know why that is, but I got my iPad open here. The chat window. Is this? I, I'm let me just confirm that I am actually recording. <laughs> yeah, right. No drop frames. We're recording. We're doing this. I'm not playing Sombre today because it's release date announcement. I'm doing something else. I'm playing a game called Outland here from 2014. Looks like it was published by Ubisoft. I'm not sure who made this game. Or did, Ubi did Ubisoft make it? Who's guiding me this way? Energy is something you just shouldn't touch. Health is quite incredibly rare. Do that, or I just haven't found where it is yet. This thing looks nice. What happened? Oh, I can attack. Three, three attacks. Found some health finally. Take some more of these doubloons. Could come in handy. How convenient. Now there's enemies. a whole heart just from everything. Why if you're hurting people? this game. Mm -hmm. 
feeling it. Well, I'm gonna try something else. Oh, the chat is working. What's up, Dommy Killer? What you mean, man? What do you mean, Sombrier changed your life? All right. Well, that one was. Uh... Let me try something else. Salad Dogs, what's up? Yo, Salad. Hey, since you're here, how about let's try Cave Story? All right. Well, hey, by the way, welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's release day. September 1st. I'm celebrating by playing some games on today's stream. Outland, yeah, I never heard of it either. Somehow I got it on sale. Oh, oh, oh now I get it now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Songbringer is so much different. Uh, so, uh, you tell me what tell me what I should try. Cave Story? Cool. Cave Story. Let's play Cave Story. Um... Okay, let's hope it works. I think it. Last time it did it didn't. Ugh. I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. Come on, cave story, do it. You can do it. Quit unexpectedly. You never played it. Yeah, September first, man. I'm finally. I'm sick. I'm excited to finally announce that. How about if I try it from launching with from outside of Steam? This is what happened last time. I couldn't get it to run. Uh, it just crashes right away. Damn, don't they have an online version though? Isn't there a free... Let's see if there's a free app or something like that I can just download. It was like, I bought Cave Story, but I couldn't play it. I was like, eh, what? What? Isn't this it? Can't you just download it? Oh, okay, here's the main download in Japanese. Oh, for Windows? Oh. It's Windows only. Oh, man, I wish I could play Cave Story. Oh, I also have some um, some emulator games I could play. I, was, I can't wait to try this, man. Some Cave Story. But it looks like Cave Story is not going to happen today. At least on the stream. Let me show you the emulator games I got, too. I got like Zelda's, Metroid's, Paperboy, River City Ransom, Skate or Die, the hardest game in the entire world. Ah. Oh, there's Mac Binaries? Oh. Oh, there's Mac Binaries. Oh, damn. Um, let me get that open. Whoa, crazy! You play, you play Breath of the Wild? Soul Blazer! Yeah, we can play Soul Blazer. Let's see if this, um... Oh, damn it. Doesn't have your chat message. Where we got? K www. Cavestory.org. Download Cave Story. So Cave Story Plus is the same as the freeware release, but with higher res graphics. Oh, just scroll down, there's Mac binaries. Oh. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> all right, all right. Zero zero eight. 
What's up, Buegas? How's it going? What up, what up, what up? Yeah, man, this thing's totally ported everywhere. I'll need the English. Yeah, I won't be able to understand it, huh? Oh, you got to overclock? Damn, 4K? Huh. Yeah, man, I remember you. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it's it's probably late for anyone that's... It's, it's in Europe or whatever. I mean, it's dang, it's, it's a good eight hours plus for me to you. Okay, how do I patch this? Applied to the relevant main download. What's that mean? Let's see, show package. Is this just some patch applicator? Oh, I just run this patch app? Is that what I do? Oh. Yeah, it's 2.30. It's midnight 30 there. I call it midnight 30, but it's... What do you, what do you guys call 12.30 a.m.? How do you say it in where you're from? That's a funny thing, right? Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Open that. Open this. Oh yeah, September 1st. You just say middle of the night, that's all. I, I swear I clicked this already. Here it is. Drop the original. Here we go. Come on. You say breakfast time? <laughs> Half past midnight? Success! Oh man, I hope this works. I hope it works with the controller too, that'd be great. What's up, Biter Kid? Hype train is passing by. I'm just blindly clicking things here. Yes! Oh, we're playing Cave Story. If I turn this all down, how do I turn down just the... 
just the game. Or I mean, just, the, oh wait, I think I go in here. No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to adjust it so you guys can hear, hear me as well as, I think it's, if I go to, just monitor, there we go. Monitor, sound, volume, there we go. Okay, so we're at 50% here, and if I turn this way down to like, let's do 12%, that was kind of loud. And then you should still be able to hear me and this. All right, let's see if the controller works. Sorry about that. I've just been rocking you guys out here with Cave Story music the whole time. Is that is that better? All right, cool. All right, I couldn't get the controller to work. I just tried to bind it, but it didn't do anything. So I could do ah, oh, the keyboard works though. Oh, and there's full screen. All right, cool. New. The button. Oh, son of a. <laughs> good, good, good. Ah, uh, what do I press? Enter? Space? Tab? Control? Yeah, I don't have. Not using that. That so isn't Z and X. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. We got it now. Z and X. All right. I got this. I don't need to bind anything. Nice. Kazuma, man. It's, don't you know me? I'm Kazuma. I like this music. Thanks for finally helping me get Cave Story to work. Yeah. Okay, so we got jump in. Press down to get your health refilled. Do I want to save? Of course I do. So that's a health and that's save. This is water. Oh cool. Okay. Yay, water! It's really floaty. I'm like woo! Instant death. Don't touch those. Good thing I saved. 
Yeah, so if you're joining this stream right now, I am playing some other games besides Songbringer to celebrate the fact that Songbringer is coming out September 1st. I usually just work on the game, but today's today's a unique day. Okay, just get my ass kicked. Bright, bright red stuff is all, always lethal, except for the red save icon. Hey, how nice. Thanks for that pattern there. Oh, sweet, got a life capsule? Yes! Oh, yeah, I... I'm sure people will get the message. But the spikes, the spikes are! They're always... Health decreased by three, that's significant, right? So, okay, I don't have any kind of attack or anything yet. Don't, don't hit the red spikes! Take it from me, I learned fast. Red spikes equals bad. Hermit Gunsmith! Oh, yeah! What's up, man? What are you doing? Just chilling on this, this bench here, this park bench? Let me give you some question marks. Snore. Stealing your stuff, man. Hope you don't mind. You're just sleeping. Got the polar star. I like this music. Sue, please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? I have a gun now. Do I have ammo? Infinite ammo! And I can shoot upward. It appears all the walls are invincible. What that? Oh, 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 ho, ho! That's experience, I'm guessing. Oh wow, so the this the person that made this game made the engine as well? Oh sweet, he wrote his own audio synthesizer? Badass. Doritos. <laughs> they look exactly like Doritos. Now that you mention it, gosh, that's great. Cool. So what have I learned so far about life? Doritos are good. Red spiky things are bad. Gunsmith is always sleeping. I just can't use I have to go in that door and that's what that represents maybe. I don't want to go in that door and save. I want to risk it. <laughs> you lose the experience? Oh. I am losing the experience, aren't I? So you lose health and experience. <laughs> oh. Salad. Salad's good too. Right? Uh, you're right, everything that's red is bad. This red door is really, really... Oh. Is that a red evil... That's what it is, it's an evil eye. Okay. S 
do. Hey, it's a rabbit. Evil rabbit. With scars on his face. It's a ruffian rabbit. Hey, what's up guys? Just having a friendly conversation, huh? Don't mind me dropping in. This asshole. What's this? A sign. Reservoir. Is that where I came from? I do not want to go back where I came from. It's probably right where I came from, huh? No, it's not! Sweet. Maybe there's a save thing somewhere. Fisherman. Hello, fisherman. What you got here? It's a sparkly thing. Sweet. Got the silver locket. Salad Dongs is making a salad, huh? Oh no! Go faster. We're almost <laughs> there. But I'm almost dead. Oh! Son of a... God! Yeah, I definitely want to retry. Please don't start me all the way over. Son of a... That one opportunity I had to save, I totally should have taken it, huh? Damn. Well... I guess now I'm a platforming master. So I can jump past these red things. So easily. <laughs> Use the door! Oh, man, this is really, it's not a very, it's not very easy for a tutorial. <laughs> right, I just, just died twice in a row there. Doing so good too. I had the the, the shiny locket. Just stealing your gun again, man. It's cool. You can keep sleeping. I'm gonna go replay some cutscenes, huh? Yeah, I like challenge. But this time I learned my lesson. I will save. Because saves are not abundant, it doesn't seem. Yeah, got you. Take your Dorito. Oh, health goes away after a minute. Maybe I'm on like some kind of moon planet or something, where there's very low gravity. That's what it feels like. It's like I'm platforming in space. Okay, here's where I, I totally messed up last time. Should have saved. Oh, and you can even refill your health there, dang. Yes, save.
Ah, got me again. Dang, that thing really hurts you. Guess I should go save again. Cause now I'm afraid I'm gonna die all the time. Wait, wait, refill L. Oh, hey, there's a save icon right over there. <laughs> I don't need no save icon. I got this this time. Oh, see? You just go over here and do it this way. Oh, this particular weapon can shoot down. Ew. This is kind of important part of it here. You gotta have enough air. Oh, hey, what's up, little rabbit? Oh, I didn't even talk to the guy fishing. What's up, fisherman? What you doing, man? Is this Sue? Oh. She fell in a reservoir, like this one. That's right, stand up for yourself. Let me just hurt this guy for you. Well. You already heard. You already heard enough. Oh no, I, now I can't go back and save. Oh. It'll make it easy. Arthur's house? I wanna go save though. Because last time I died. Searching for a sky dragon. Yeah. Cool. Game saved. All right. Well, cool. Now I've played a little bit of Cave Story. I think I'll try something else now. Got some old school games, or we got some new school games. I have not played Kingdom New Lands. Let's check that one out. Any any suggestions? Just shout out though. I played Kingdom the old one. Let's see how this one goes. Excited to play with the controller.
Yeah, it is, right? They don't really give you any... Oh, you can't go left in this one. Set blazing. What's that? There's no options or whatever. FTL? I don't have FTL. Is that a run button? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I thought I remember playing the old one where you could go left. Sweet. Already got a bowman. What's up, bow guy? Shoot some rabbits, yeah? Boogie, what's up, man? Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. How you doing today? Yeah, release date September 1st. I wish it would auto-complete. Hey, guys. Zyinger, what's up, man? Yes, this is Songbringer 2 right here. Huh. Oh, hey, let's build a wall, huh? How you guys doing today? I'm celebrating the fact that Songbringer is getting released by playing something other than Songbringer. You know, just keep it fresh for you guys and for me. Let's go recruit some people. There we go. People! Hey, people! You too. Uh oh, nighttime's coming. Wait, you can't go past that tree? Oh, yeah, they definitely block you. Yeah, you want me to do game streams after the release? Hey, are you part of the team? Oh, thanks, man. That's Mr. Builder Guy. There's a, it's cool to have a ghost on my team. What's up, Ghosty? Go what are you doing, Ghost? So if you haven't played Kingdom, the first one, this is the second Kingdom. Kingdom New Lands. It seems so far a lot like the first one, except there's a few little differences. I, from what I gather, there's a lot more stuff where there's, there's like a little few more options, you know? Your base can get a little bigger, you get some more horses and stuff. This is a, from what I remember from Kingdom, this is a long ass game. Like, it takes like two and a half hours. Well, not long, but I mean, it's too long for me to. Well, hey, wait, here we go. Upgrade. Oh, is the mouse pointer above everything or something? I don't even have a mouse. Is it off now? I tried to get, I'm just randomly moving a mouse pointer. I have no idea if that's, if that helped or not. Hopefully that helped. It's good. We're good. Nice. So we got any dangerous People coming in the middle of the night yet? No? What a disappointment. We set up all these battle defenses. Maybe I should upgrade that. So this is kind of the thing with Kingdom. You kind of like build up your base a little bit and then these evil little demons come and try and attack you. As long as you've got some archers and some people to defend, you're all right. But this is kind of what happens. You kind of build up and then you wait. You build and wait, build and wait. And that's why it's kind of a long game. It's a lot of a lot of waiting, especially when you get all towards the end. And it's very secretive. You like have no idea what to do at first. It doesn't really tell you. It doesn't hold your hand, which is great. I love that. Maybe I'll play Axiom Verge. Uh, 
Oh, hey, King Crown icon. What's that mean? Hey, whoa! Thank you! Let's go recruit some people, build some stuff. Axiom Verge? Sweet! Let's do that. I haven't played Axiom Verge in a minute, so that'd be fun. I'll play one more day of this. As soon as it's nighttime, I'll start Axiom Verge. Yeah, me too, man. Such a good game. Okay, so interesting. This time I can walk farther. Or, I mean, ride my horse farther. I'm the queen of these lands. All you deer must... Let's run away! Hey look, more money! What a bonus! Okay, from my experience, if you run too far, it's always a bad idea. What's that? It's like a crashed pirate ship. Hey, what's up, man? Join my team. So yeah, the artwork is almost identical. The gameplay is almost identical to the original. Right, if, if Songbrain was a side scroll? Yes, it does. It has a really good... I like their pixel art aesthetic. They keep everything, all the pixels are the same size and stuff. What's this guy? I don't know what that is. But this side of the defenses are weak. Thank you for the coin, sir. It's not a tax. No, I'm not taxing you. No. It's for the greater good. It's the greater good money fund. You got any more money? Give me your money. Thank you. But but no, I don't thank you. You were supposed to give me that. So no thanks to you, Archer Man, who... Or you're the one that killed all the rabbits. This guy, what, like, here in the blue. He's a rabbit hunter. Alright, so as soon as this nighttime sequence is over, I'm going to switch to Axiom Verge. I'm just kind of playing some games that will work on my laptop. <laughs> while streaming which is crazy difficult for my little macbook pro to record its its whole screen while streaming there's bunnies right there don't you want to shoot them you guys Oh, hey, what's up, Alpaca Man? Alright, cool. Nighttime's over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save and quit. Play some Axiom Verge, because that's a classic. It's been a minute since I played this, too. I'm, I'm really excited to try this again. Hopefully, I can just start over. I don't need to, like... What's this? Oh, these are just items in my inventory. Yeah! Axiom Verge. Um, and hopefully the music shouldn't be too loud. Still. Let's make sure that's all good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Alright, it should be pretty low. It shouldn't be too loud on any of these games now that I turn down the volume. And I'm gonna close Open Emu for a moment so I don't need it. Axiom Verge, 
if you've never played this game, this is like a... If you're into Metroidvanias, you've probably heard of this. Okay, it did keep my save. Nice. I'm gonna delete that one. This is a new... Yeah, let's start over. Normal or hard? Ooh. I think it was hard enough on, on the first try. I'm gonna do normal. Should I do hard? New Mexico, 2005. I forgot about this cool intro. All, this, all the music, too. Oh, that thing here. Synthesizers. Beamlet. Forgot even the premise to the story and everything. It's kind of refreshing, cool. I love it. Ah, ah! Be playing a game with good platforming. Axiom disruptor. Bam! That lock position. The latest really awesome platformer, platformer Metroidvania I played was Hollow Knight. Such a great game. If you haven't played Hollow Knight, I highly recommend it. Axiom Verge has got its own flavor though, it's different. It's like a little more Metroid. And then um, Hollow Knight 2 has got the really a really unique mechanic in that it's more of a melee, a melee based thing. You have a sword. Yeah, Axiom Verge is more like the classic Metroid where you have a gun and stuff. Oh sweet, it's hitting Switch! Good for them, that's great. I'm excited for the team, uh, Team Cherry, that's their name, yeah. I'm really excited for them. They re they, they made a kick-ass game. Hollow Knight is just, that's probably my favorite game so far this year. Ah, I love it, man. I love how it's like, when you land on stuff, it just feels really good, like a good connection. Oh, son of a bitch. Stop! <laughs> it 
it's like Metroid in that sense, where Metroid, when you land on stuff, is really good, like, you have a good sense of friction. This is Axiom Verge has got that good friction in physics, too. It's been so long since I played, I don't remember where anything is. This is great. I love being surprised. Oh yeah! I love that too, when a game does that. If I jump into the glitch, do I just die? I feel like I'm gonna die if I try and jump into that. Right? Nothing better. I must confess, as I was playing Axiom Verge the first time, I kept thinking, what if he had made it procedurally generated? Really cool. I'd love to see more, more, more games like this. They were procedural. That that had procedural done well. You know, like you gotta, you gotta make sure procedural is done well. But if, but it's really not that much different than regular game design. You know, you can design a game to be procedural and still have all the same elements that you would in a bespoke game, really. You just have to design certain rules into your algorithms that create the kind of world that you're trying to create. You basically have to be a programmer and a level designer. Just combine those two things together. Chasm, yeah, it's on my list. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. I didn't know it was procedural, that's cool. Something. This has got to be something right here. Yes. What's this one? All right. I like how creative you got with the with the different weapons and stuff in this game. This is a weapon where you shoot your you shoot and then you press the button again and it, it explodes. Oh, and then you can like yeah, you can switch weapons. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Spelunky or Binding of Isaac then, where it's got its, um, a bunch of rooms that, that it kind of connects together at runtime. So that's what, how it seemed. Um, another one I heard that's really good recently um, that is procedural is Dead Cells. Um, yeah, I heard the procedural has really done well in that. It 
it's in early access on Steam right now. Right. Oh, did you just say Dead Cells too? Nice. You thought of Dead Cells at the same time? I have a feeling there's another item coming up. Some way you can like hold diagonal. If anybody, if anybody knows how to hold diagonal without actually holding diagonal, because there's some button you can. Maybe that's like PlayStation only or something. Right before it's so crazy. Oh, I wonder if it was subconscious. Like, did I did I see your message out of the corner of my eye? It's probably what it was. There is! Hmm. Oh, here we go. Left button is locked position? Okay, it's left button. That's the thing that it's... It's not doing what I was thinking it would do, at least. I'm trying to get it to like. Like lock. Uh, whatever. Lock position. So, how does that work? How does the lock position thing work exactly? Bam! That's what I would think too, right? You aim and then hold LB. But I'm pressing it and it's not holding it. Like I'm I start pressing upper left and I hold down left button. No, I'm pressing right button! Oh wait, hold on. Oh, okay, wait, no, lock position makes you stop moving. Yeah, like I if I hold the L button, I just completely stop moving. So it does lock my position. Oh, but then you can shoot downward. I've never seen that before. Okay, I never knew you could do that. So you hold LB and then you can shoot downward at an angle. But it, you can't move while doing this. Okay, well there. Finally learned how to do that. Gosh, I played this whole game last time without knowing that. <laughs> I forget how to get past that. Is this again? Oh right, we can get past this. I love these guys that come out of the walls. <laughs> Man. Save point. Can't have enough of these. Yeah, first boss. Let's do this. I'm ready to beat a boss in Axiom Verge. Which one is this? Murder. I'm kind of nervous, actually. Oh, that noise! Oh, I'm a demon? Ah! 
about to toast say kill. Yeah, I'm in a different room today. We have a house guest, so the, my normal room for streaming is occupied. Today I'm streaming out of the... This room. Thank you, kind game developer, for putting this block right here for me to block the, uh, the, the bullets. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I never pay attention during bosses. It's like the most important part. Like, pay attention. Don't die during the boss fight. Okay, I got this. I can beat this guy. It's only the first boss. You saved, saved your mind machines. I forgot about that part. Oh, uh, yeah. We've had a plan for... Oh, uh, um... Well, it was kind of a tentative release date for the last month, and then we had to push it back a little bit because of... What was it? I forget. There's some other... Uh, it might have been the, the one of the certifications or something like that we had to go through, and we just needed a little bit more time to get it all approved for PlayStation or something. Um, but yeah, this worked out really well. September 1st is like a perfect day, I think, to launch. It's a Friday. Um, it's the first of the month, so it's around people's paydays. Um, it's um, it's before the October November um, rush, or just you know you're never re you're not gonna get much attention with your game, you know, not as much because the AAA games are taking all of it up in the those months. It's memorable too, yeah, yeah. All platforms are basically launching at the uh, basically the same time. Um, Steam, GOG and Xbox One are definitely the first of the month. And then PlayStation 4 is the only one that ha that's coming on the 5th. So it's just, it's just basically, it's launching on Friday, and then next Tuesday it comes out, the Tuesday after that Friday is when it comes out on PlayStation. Um, because place, oh, that, I gotta not get by those things. PlayStation has this, uh, what's that thing on PlayStation where there it's like the first Tuesday of the month or whatever? Is that a deal thing they got going on, or is that like a highlight special? It's a PS Plus thing. Oh right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It is more memorable. Yeah, it's a PlayStation Plus thing. Um, what that was. Somebody was mentioning it on Twitter today, and I was like, yeah, that's probably what it is. But yeah, I'm actually pretty lucky to be working with Double Eleven to do the launch, because they have a lot of experience with this. They've launched a lot of games. Oh, the sales are always updated on Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, so Double Eleven, it's really cool to be working with them. They have a lot of experience. Um, they convinced me to change the price from $16, as it was always planned, to $20 or $19.99. And um, I was kind of like, at first I was like, ah, I don't know if I really want to change it. At $16, I've always been kind of like committed to that price. And then I finally did the math. You got your mom interested? <laughs> no way. She played Zelda 1? Sweet! That's so cool! Oh, that's, oh I'm, I'm freaking honored. Yeah, so basically the decision came down to like, okay, $16. I was, to be honest, I was actually just fearing any kind of negative um, reception from people like, oh, twenty dollars is too expensive. But then I realized that basically, if a person isn't going to want Songbringer right then, the five dollar difference is probably not going to make that much of a difference. Sure, there's going to be some people that wish list it, but when they wish list it, they're probably just going to buy it again later at a sale anyways, and then it's not going to matter where whether it was that price anyways at first. And then the big the big thing about um, releasing your game for a little bit more of a worthy price, I think, is that 
First of all, it communicates that your game is a quality title, right? If you're releasing your game for less than twenty dollars, even, and it's it's and it's a game that's like you know an eight to ten hour gameplay or whatever, you know, if it's got a good good amount of gameplay, and um, you know, and you're releasing it for less than twenty dollars, it's kind of like, at least in my mind, there's some question marks. Like, okay, is this game worth? worth it. Like Hollow Knight, for example. Hollow Knight, I really think, should have been $20. I wondered. I was like, uh, is this a quality game? It's only $15. And it was worth way more than $15. I, I, would, I think it was worth $25. And I, I gladly would have paid $20. But the, th the other big thing about $16 versus $20 is that $16 is actually a lot more risky if you think about um, your net profit. So if you um, if you do all the math and you look at all the all the, look at games on on like Steam Spy and you look how many owners a game has and um, you do the math for how much that that game is making off of that many owners, you you come to realize that selling your game for just a few dollars more really helps your net revenue. Yeah, I know. I know it's not quite in the impulse zone, and that's really why I wanted to do the $16 price for the whole time. But um, I think that people will buy. I think people will buy it for. I think people will buy $20 song uh, Songbringer for $20. It's not going to be that much of a difference. And anybody that's going to hesitate is probably someone that's just going to wish list and buy it later when it goes on sale. And there will be winter sales for that, and summer sales. I must be missing something. Oh, it did? Yeah, and then also you can debut at $20 and go for a lesser, a lesser price if you really think that it's, you know, it's not working out. Oh, here we go. But then another, another big thing about $20 price versus 16 is that um, you've got room for sales, you know. When you when it comes time to do the, stu the Steam Summer Sale and the Steam Winter Sale and all that, you got you got room to be able to to discount it. And people think, oh wow, it's a twenty dollar game, and I'm getting it on a discount for five or ten bucks off. Whoa, sweet. It's, thanks, Spider Kid. What's up, Solar Liquid? All right, well, I think I'm gonna play one more game. Let's play something else. Played the first boss here of Axiom Verge. I played Kingdom for a little bit. Played Cave Story for the first time. Just celebrating the fact that Songbringer's getting released on the first. Oh, also there's a release party, if you guys didn't hear. Yes, yeah, which is a possibility. There's no no confirmed information yet, but there's. I'm not saying that we're not doing it for sure. That's a possibility. You were upset. Why is that, man? <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. I hope it's worth it. Yeah, you know. And one other thing is that. You can play it once, and sure, your first playthrough might be like anywhere from eight to twelve to sixteen hours playing Songbringer. But this, you know, there's a lot of replay value because you got you got all those uh, many choices of worlds and world seeds, so you can keep playing different worlds to surprise you. That's kind of the whole concept of Songbringer. Here we go. I'm gonna play a I'm gonna play a, an emu game. You had a rough month, man. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, so what classic game should I play? This will be the last game I play before the stream's over. Um, Battle Toads, Castlevania: Ari of Sorrow, Crystallis. So you're voting Soul Blazer? You want Zelda? First Zelda? Third Zelda? Soul Blazer's a good one too. Um, original Legend of Zelda. We've got Link to the Past. 
Um, we got the Oracles games too. Metroids, all the Metroids. Let's make a bet. A bet. Here, oh, let's do a straw poll. All right, so. Which game? Zelda. Um, oh, we got Soul Blazer. Uh, <laughs> you'll buy it. Yeah, if I beat the Flying Ship Sage Battletoads. Battletoads is so hard, right? You know what's even harder though is Skate or Die. Skate or Die is the, like the hardest game I've ever played. Okay, how about Metroid Zero Mission? That one, God, I haven't played Metroid Zero Mission in a minute. That's a rad game. I'm still meaning to play the AM, AM2R. Secret of Mana? Super Mario Brothers? Toe Jam and Earl? Terra Enigma? If I hold my breath for half an hour? Yeah, Necro Dancer or Songbringer? Cool, man. Okay, um, let's just, anything else? Battletoads, let's put Battletoads on the list. We gotta have a fourth option. Legend of Mana? Yeah, it's a great one. Um, did you play Mystic Quest, the um the one that came before Secret of Mana? I like games like that. Where it's like you're trying to really it's trying to figure it out what's going on, why why you're doing what you're doing. I love games that don't hold your hand. Wonder Swan? That's a that's a platform. That sounds. I've never heard of Wonder Swan. Hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, Crystallis should have been on that list. I love that game. Have you guys ever played this, Crystallis, for the NES? This is a rad game. This is like, this is an NES game, and it's, I can't even believe this is an NES game. Oh, it was the successor of the Neo Geo Pocket Color, huh? You played it a ton? Sweet. I'm glad I'm not the only one. This is, this is one of my most cherished games ever. Let's see how the straw poll is going, huh? Do I get a vote? I don't get a vote. Zelda 1 and Battletoads are, are at the top of the list right now. I know, right? Battletoads is... All, all that's going to happen is I'm going to die. And it's going to start happening right when you're... Right at the hard part where you're supposed to throw stuff at the screen. You have no... You're like, how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to throw things at the screen? Oh, you're switching your vote. Dang. Oh. Well, I guess that would put it... Uh, I, I guess that would put it up to Zelda having three. All right, cool. We'll just play Zelda. I don't want to mess around with this too much longer because this... Seems like there's not not too many people chatting today, so we're not gonna. You're like flip a coin. 
Do you want me to do that? Okay, all right. Flipping a coin. Flipping a coin. All we need is a coin. How about, how about I flip my phone? Okay, I'm gonna flip my phone, and if it lands, um, tippy tappy face up, then it's Zelda one, and if it lands face down, then it's Battle Toads. All right, you guys ready to do this? Random.org. Use the coin flipper at that site. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It sounds more fun than flipping a phone anyway. Because, like, it's, the phone's balanced, right? I don't just know, but just math.random. Okay. Here we go. I was say, if it's less than 50, or less than or equal to 50, then we're playing Zelda 1. And if it's 51 or greater... If it's 51 or greater, then we're doing Battletoads. All right? Here we go. <laughs> Diving in. See what's going to happen. What random number are we going to get? 75. We're playing Battletoads. Bam. Oh, that was fun. It's a true random number generator. How does that even work with a... It's great. Battletoads. Wait, did I hook up my controller right? I love this game. All that, yeah, oh yeah. I forgot to. I gotta hook up the uh, the controller real quick. Oh, whoops. Time to call GameStop. It kind of makes me. It makes me bind every time. I think. Or maybe it's just every time I switch controllers and then I have to rebind. It's I love the whoops. Yeah. Whoa, what? Up. Up. Left. Left. What? Up. Left. There we go. Yeah, man, remix. Start. with this oh, this is weird let's hope it works oh I know the OST is not out yet It's, I'm still working on it. I had plans for the OST to come out uh, with launch, but it's not going to happen. Not I'm not going to be able to finish the OST to the quality level that I would like for for launch. So, um, so I'm going to save it for later. Once it's like it's going to come out for one of like the updates or something like that, and and then over the next coming months, I'll finish the OST to the quality level that I'd like, and then release it. Yeah, sorry about that. I love the story. I forgot about how great the story is. And the sci-fi elements are pretty cool too, right? I'm impressed too that they could put this much like art into an NES game. Hey Toads! A barcade? Sweet. You guys have barcades? That's a cool name. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's crazy for the NES. 8-bit. 
located the gargantua toads all right we just got to go through ragnarok canyon jump over the giant chasm throw things at the screen all right i got no friends but that's probably a good thing because can't you get hurt by your friends oh I forgot how Nintendo games always like flicker. You know how there's like characters like flicker because it's just they can't handle all the graphics. What? This is such a weird enemy. Yeah, you can, right? You can hurt each other. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Take that. Evil demons. Oh, it's deliberate? Really? I never knew that was a deliberate thing. Wow. <laughs> the, the, the big book thing, right? <laughs> what is that thing? Ah. 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 Oh, you had them organized every month? Cool. Ah, oh, that's a sweet idea. Phone's ringing. I feel like I'm playing, I feel like I'm playing Toe Jam and Earl now that the phone's ringing. Oh, I forgot. Man, I just got pile, pile drivered by that guy. Man, this is crazy difficult. Right? This is level one. I'm going to have to beat this guy to make any more progress. Oh, I got you. That's right. Jump over the chasm. All right, Solar Liquid, see you later, man. Yes, I did see the new Toe Jam and Earl game, and I have, um, I have played it. I played it at PAX. It was cool. It's really a lot like the first um, Toe Jam and Earl, but with more characters and like a, bit, a lot of cool improvements. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Have, you, have I have not seen the postmortem for Owlboy. I would, I really need a link to that, man. What's uh? Where did they, did they write it on their own website or what? One up? Oh. oh. I forgot about it. Oh, this is the part where you have to throw things at the screen. I know all about this. Here we go. Pick that up. Throw it at the screen. Ah. Oh, it's GDC. All right. Um, it was that a was that I'm sure I'm assuming it's one of their talks at GDC. So I think I'm missing it. Thank you. Oh, they do, yeah? Oh, wait, this is another list. Here, I'll just open it here. My iPad. Open browser. Open that for later. I want to watch that. Yeah, I've really been digging a lot. There's a lot of cool things I've, I've checked out on GDC lately. And I've really been appreciating all their videos. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Is, are there new boss keys videos? I think there's new boss keys videos from Mark Brown, Game Maker's Toolkit. That's cool. He was he was mentioning uh, the other day that there's going to be some new boss key videos. 
And I think they're out now. If I'm if I was correct in that evaluation. Okay, so let's not here. Throw it now. Yeah, that's the chicken. You gotta wait till they stop, man. There's a trick to the trick. If I can even get past this part, it'll be the farthest I've ever gotten in Battletoads. Son of a... Oh! Oh! I can at least give this one more try. Oh, man, I have not! I had that on my list! One sec, call me twice, it's maybe important. Hey baby. I'm streaming right now. Wes? No. No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think he's back yet. Uh, maybe 15 minutes. Sure, why don't you send me a text with what you want? Hello, baby. See ya. <laughs> Just get <kidding>, my... <laughs> Let's get my ass worked over here. Yeah, oh, I've been meaning to watch that D2 speedrun. It's on my list and... Should I start over? I feel like I should start over, but... I don't know how. <laughs> this weird... I forgot about how weird this enemy is. I know, right? I'm tr I'm over here talking on the phone. They're just hitting me anyways. So wait, I can hit my friends, but they can't hit their friends? That's not that's not fair. Yeah, mean pig red demon devils. I wish the whole game was this was just just this enemy right here. <laughs> this guy's so hilarious. <laughs> oh, I watched the Diablo postmortem. That is a really good one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Battletoads is definitely not about fair, that's for sure. Are these health? It is. Oh, man, I need more of those. Well, now that I know what health is, I feel really empowered. Oh! God, the timing on this guy. I could get really lucky. Don't count on the screen scrolling to help you or anything, either. Whoa! Yes! Come on, man. Attack me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah! Okay, let's see if I can jump this chasm this time. Right? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Once again, I have not made it past stage one in Battletoads, which is... Hey, uh, raise your hand if you have, if you have made it past stage one in Battletoads, right? <laughs> Has anyone ever made it past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that health? That's not health. Is the, is the blue, what are the blue squares versus the, oh, damn it. I missed the one up again. What's the difference between the blue square and the, and the heart? I mean, I'm guessing the heart is health, but. Ah! But maybe the heart is not health. Maybe the heart is your one up. You got the turbo tunnel? Dude, how far is that? Son of a. Okay, so I'm getting it. If you have, you have to throw from the middle of the screen. And not right about when he's... Yeah, there we go. Yes! Oh, I can't believe I made it past that. Ah! Yes, I made it past stage one! I think this is the first time I've ever done this. 
It's, I swear. I don't think I've ever done this before. No, I've done this. I remember this part now. Swinging around here and fighting these guys. It's very, such varied gameplay. Path of XL, yeah? Yeah, the D2 vibe is very strong with that. It's very strong with this one. Yeah. Path of Exile. Did you guys know that Path of Exile, they've been working on that game for um, almost a decade? I met the devs for, for Path of Exile. And they're pretty cool guys. They're from New Zealand. Right? New Zealand? Yeah. And, um, yeah, they've been working on Path of Exile for n uh, nine years when I talked to them, when I met them at uh, this, this March at ID at Xbox. But they're getting ready to launch Path of Exile for real. And it looks like a rad game. Um, the big, what's the, what's the big difference between Path of Exile and Diablo though? There's like a, there's a key difference. Oh! This guy's tough. Oh, it's stage three, huh? Yeah, these guys, they, those crows are kind of creepy. Right, yeah, it's, it already has 10 acts and it's still a free game. Well, they, it's, they're supported by Tencent, which is like, they're like billionaires. So they can definitely afford to build a player base and then, you know. Is that their model? Is that how they, how they do it? Do they just like, is it going to be a free-to-play game forever? Damn. I did not make it past stage two, but did make it past stage one. Oh yeah, the stream inception, I remember that. Is it really? Made it to the fourth level? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. I'm I'm honored just knowing that. I'm so honored. Oh, right, yeah, it's way more complex. So, yeah, there's more builds. There's more, like, skill trees and stuff, right? Right, right, yeah. Oh, and more viable builds, too, yeah. Yeah, that's a game I really got to... I got. That's another game I need, like, a better system for. I, mean, I just need a good gaming rig. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate you all celebrating the fact that Songbringer has a release day with me today by playing some video games. Skill leveling system of the huge map upgrades? Yeah, it does. Yeah, cosmetics, stash tabs, right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Butter Kid. Yeah. I <laughs> hope you remember us when you get rich. Oh, uh, I'll remember you forever. It doesn't matter if I get rich or not. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Whoa, damn, look at that tree. <laughs> That's so zoomed out. That's freaking amazing. It seemed, no wonder they spent nine years, right? They spent nine years just on that. <laughs> uh, well, once again, thanks, guys. I'll check you all out next time. Um, next time I'll be actually working on Song Ringer again, doing something else. I don't know what we'll be doing, but something other than what was done today. So cheers, everybody. Thanks a lot for your support. Appreciate you all. And uh, we'll see you all next time.